Hello friends, this is Jim. Yesterday, after paying off the money I owed with Chuck E. Cheese tickets, I decided to get a job. All this money was eventually going to run out somehow, and my parents wouldn't give me any because they thought I was an idiot moron. So I started writing a resume. Here's what it looked like. After taking a good half hour to write the resume, I went to this hot dog stand that I found somewhere in the city and asked for a job. The man in charge of the hot dog stand, after reading my resume, immediately told me to get lost. I took this as a sign that he was giving me a job, so I went behind the counter. The man who worked at the hot dog stand then said a few words that I don't really want to talk about here. I told him that that was extremely rude. An hour later, I woke up and found that my leg was broken and I was in an alley with a few trash cans. I opened one trash can and found a newspaper. It was delicious. Then, I went to McDonald's and applied for a job and got it. I was quite impressed with how much they were paying me, four quarters an hour, compared to the meager three dollars that the minimum wage group was getting, and I said so. So, my first day on the job was quite eventful to say the least. The manager kept telling me not to eat the food that was presented to me and give it to the customers. When I finally got that down, I made my own special sauce for the burger. It consisted mainly of gasoline, with a touch of butter and about two pounds of habanero peppers. Needless to say, it was a success. The first person who tried it loved it so much, he threw up two times, had a seizure, and then fell on the ground and stopped moving. At that point, some nice men in white suits came into the restaurant and put the man who had eaten my sauce into some sort of plastic sleeping bag thing. I waved my hand to him as he went out, but he didn't seem to notice. I guess he was just busy having too much fun. Unfortunately, the rest of us had to go out of the restaurant too. After that, all the employees, including me, assembled in a line, and the manager asked in a cool level voice who the cook was. I raised my hand proudly. But he didn't seem to like that very much at all, and started chasing me. I took this to mean that we were playing a game of tag, so I started running away from him. I eventually lost him, and then started wandering around the city until I got into my house. I went to bed then. The next morning, I went back to the McDonald's for my second day on the job, but when I tried to open the doors, they wouldn't budge. I wonder why. Jim, 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 Jim. So, my first day on the job was quite eventful, to say the least. The customers are... I'm bad at bed. The manager kept... I love my special sauce. But oh my bottle. I fed it to my cat. He stopped moving as well. I love the whole... World Jim, in all its Jim, idiocy. Boom dia da 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 boom dia da.